Beginner's Guide to Hollow, Add Infill, and Add Holes in Tango Slicer. Hollowing a model has many benefits. Compared with printing a solid model, hollowing it first and then print it will help us save more resin. The hollowed model will also stick less to the FEP film and make the separation easier. In this video, we'll explain to you how to hollow a model, as well as how to add infill and add holes in Tango Slicer for your resin 3D printing. 1. How to hollow a model in Tango Slicer. Select the model. Click on hollow from the menu, and the hollow part window will pop up. For wall thickness, the suggested value is 1 to 4 mm, 1 to 2 mm is for smaller models and 3 to 4 mm is for larger models. The bigger this parameter, the stronger the hollowed part. The smaller this parameter, the more fragile the hollowed part. The default accuracy is 1 mm and the default direction is inside. There's no need to change them in most cases. If the hollowed model is large and you want to make it stronger and more durable, it's suggested that you add infill structure, which helps strengthen the model. 2. How to add infill in Tango Slicer. In the hollow part window, enable infill structure. Next, you may choose the structure type. In Tango Slicer, there are two types of infill structure to choose from, BCC and FCC. Both are okay, and you may choose whichever you like. The suggested structure dimensions is 10 mm and the suggested structure radius is 1 mm. The larger your model, the bigger these two parameters can be. After hollowing your model and adding infill, don't forget to add holes for the resin inside the model to escape. If no drain holes are added, hollowed models can become heavy with liquid resin trapped inside and cause the model to crack because of air pressure or even discharge uncured resin. 3. How to add holes in Tango Slicer. Click on Holes from the menu, the Add Holes window will pop up. For Radius Outer Circle and Radius Inner Circle, the suggested value is 3 mm. You can also adjust the hole size according to your model size. For the rest of the parameters, there's no need to change them for now. We'll explain them in another video tutorial. Click on the model to add holes where you want. One or two holes are enough, and you can add two holes if your model is large, so the resin can escape more quickly. If you add the wrong hole, you can select Remove Hole from the window, and click it to delete. After that, select Add Hole to add the right hole again. Then click on OK to apply the changes. Thank you for watching.